So Psylocke's seasonal uniform just came out. It's paywall. So let's talk about what paywall is. And let's talk about my personal opinion with paywall uniforms, specifically with Psylocke's, and just kind of talk about spending in the game on a whole. Now, I've been accused of being a whale because I have a tendency to buy all the characters and all the different game modes and as many of the uniforms as I can get a hold of. There's two uniforms I don't own. One of them is Psylocke, so I'm waiting for the free 10 tokens. We'll talk about that in a few moments here. And one of them is the Captain Marvel uniform, which is unobtainable because I was not spending money in the game back when I was playing that. I've been playing the game since about 2016. When it comes to any type of content in the game that is locked behind actual finances, I have a tendency, like many, to get mildly annoyed. However, I do try to think and consider a few things. The Net Marble team for Marvel Future Fight is spending time and resources, so they can't do that for free. I assume they have to pay for the rights to use the characters. <clears throat> I don't know how that rights go. I don't know if they have to renew it or whatever the case may be. And this game has been going on, you know, for what? I think it's hit, hit, it's hit its 10-year anniversary or something like that recently. It's been going on for much longer than mobile games tend to survive for. <clears throat> Comparing this to other what they call gotcha games where you spend money and it's a gamble, so you don't always necessarily get what you're paying for. I personally feel like the pricing on this game is much lower than a lot of the other gacha games out there. So with all of that being said, the question is, is it worth spending money? And what are the issues with the paywall stuff? I want to start with the Psylocke issue. One of the game modes that I'm a huge fan of is called Alliance Battle. So Alliance Battle, if you're not familiar with it, has three major game modes. It has Normal, Extreme, and Legendary. We'll lovingly call this ABX and ABL for Extreme Mode and for Legendary Mode. When you are going through these different game modes, you are kind of locked into being able to use certain characters. <clears throat> so you want to use what's called Meta, Most Effective Tactic Available, which means the best characters that can score the highest with the best teams and all that, if you want to push your score. I'm in an AB alliance, and I like the alliance battle mode. So I have a tendency to try to push my score as high as possible. In order to do this, I unfortunately need to invest in uniforms if I want to continue to push that. So characters like Psylocke for me are important. The average player, I don't think you necessarily have to buy any specific uniform. I don't think there's anything you need to buy in the game. Doesn't mean you shouldn't buy it. The reason Psylocke is such an issue is because if we go in here into training mode <clears throat> and you go through and flip through all these days, you are going to have in ABL, Alliance Battle Legendary, there is going to be two days that are restricted to mutants. The one mutant day is going to be superhero blast mutants. So you can only use blast characters. Right now, people were previously using Storm. Now it's Cable. With Psylocke's new uniform, it's actually if you fully max out Cable and you have the team up bonus maxed out and he's tier four and he's all that, apparently he can still outscore Psylocke, but it's close as what other people are telling me because I don't have Psylocke tier four or her uniform yet. I do plan to do that. The other mutant day is going to be for females. So you have superhero, mutant, female. So this day you can't use Cable, which means you could use Storm, you could use Rogue, but Psylocke is now the new meta for that day. If you don't spend money, Hope is probably your best bet. You do have some other characters that you can potentially use here. So here's where the issue with the Psylocke uniform comes up. The Psylocke uniform, you have to spend tokens. These tokens cannot be saved over the years. So you get 10 tokens for free. Seven day login, that's what I'm waiting for. Which means you have to come up with the other 20 tokens in some way. The only way to get these tokens is to spend cash on the game. That's why we're calling these uniform paywall uniforms, because if you don't spend cash during the event, during the seasonal event, you do not have access to these uniforms. And there's a few uniforms for the summer season, and <clears throat> they're summer themed and all that good stuff. So the first meta for this female day could be used in both, and that's Storm. So if you get Storm's uniform, which is also paywall, you could do both days. Okay, not too bad. It's paywall uniform. You get two days out of it. She also works great as a support. She's, she's good on her own. She can be tiered forward. Okay, not the end of the world. Now we introduce Rogue, who replaces one day in ABL. 
and it is also a seasonal paywall uniform. Now this is a, the winter season versus the summer season, but now you have another, you have to at least spend $20 USD, I mean, depends on the region of the world you're in, to replace on one day for someone you already spent $20 if you have her, at least $20. Cable is free, so not a lot of people are upset about that because, you know, Heart of Dark, I'm sorry, not free, but it's crystals based, so you can save up for that by grinding crystals if you really wanted to, which crystals are hard to come by unless you buy them. So now you have Psylocke come out, which sort of light replaces Cable, or at least can be used on the Cable Day if you never built him, and now replaces Rogue. So what's the problem here? $20, $20, $20, $60 if you've kept up with the uniforms to get a replacement for essentially one day, even though she's usable on two. This is the biggest problem I'm hearing about this latest update with the Psylocke uniform and the complaint. So I, I have a lot of folks that I talk to that also play, and a lot of them tend to be free to play or light spenders. Most of the people I know have spent something at some point, but they're not spending monthly, they're not spending on a regular basis, and they don't always buy all the uniforms like I do. So <clears throat> for them, they're pretty much using Hope Summers, and they're scoring like six, seven million, but Psylocke's new uniform, apparently some people are saying that they're scoring upward of like 12 to 15 million. That's a, that's like double, triple, so they feel like, oh, I have to get the Psylocke uniform if I want to get the max rewards because they're interested in the rewards because you get tier four mats out of this. It's two days during, you know, the cycle of, of the, you know, of when you're playing ABL. It's not like every single day you're using her, but it's a valid point. It's a valid concern. What do you think in the comments below? What do you think? Do you think that this idea of paywall, 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 paywall is getting old real quick, even if it is for one or two days of ABL or are you okay with it? My first initial gut response was just like, just don't buy the uniform. The counter I get to that, but then we don't get the rewards. And it's not fair that we're free to play. And and this is where we get into the spending conversation. Should you spend in the game? And is it technically a $20 uniform? Because it's not technically a $20 uniform. We'll get into that too. Let's talk about the idea of spending in the game. The game is free to play. To, to a certain degree, I feel like, okay, if you are free to play you're not necessarily supporting the devs continue to make stuff, so you get what you get. I'm not saying that you don't have the right to have frustration or to be upset or to want things for free because, you know, maybe you are in a situation where you can't spend money. Maybe you're in a situation where you don't want to spend money. It doesn't matter. The point being is you should be able to enjoy your game, but if you're not giving the devs anything, they're, they're not advertising to you, so they're not making advertisement revenue from you. You're, so you're getting you're getting something and not giving something other than just liking the game and increasing the number of populations so, so to a certain degree. And I know it's kind of shitty to say, but seriously, I mean, to a certain degree, it's like, what do you expect if you're, if you're not putting anything into it? On the flip side, if you're even a light spender, I don't care if you do Stark Stash only or if you've only spent once or twice, you at least put something, contributed something. And you are contributing your time. You're opening the game and running it. That At the very least, it gives statistics to the game showing it's worth checking out. You can do ratings on, on the store, or the app store. So to a certain degree, even as a free player, you're still contributing in some way, shape, or form. And then spending regularly, whether you don't have to be whale level. I've known people who have dumped like 20,000 US dollars or more into their accounts. It, ridiculous amounts. Like I, I feel bad for the money I've spent in my account. But that doesn't mean that they necessarily get a higher say. It doesn't mean they need to cater to people that are spending super amounts of money. But I think there's a balance there, right? How much you're contributing versus how much time you spend. If you want the game to stay alive, people to be excited about it, people to play, for it to be populated and have friends to play with through alliances or competitive modes or trying to get higher scores, there has to be some sort of a balance involved. One of my biggest complaints with spending in the game is when they lock content behind money gambling for stuff is frustrating this is the got you aspect you spend money you gamble you try to get a random card you try to get a random stat on a card you reroll a ctp you can spend money and get nothing out of it that's frustrating at least directly buying crystals and buying directly with uniforms and characters that makes sense to me and in, in my opinion i don't like seasonal uniforms at all i don't like the idea that you only have a small time frame to get that uniform and if not you got to wait till next year 
The tokens are gone. You free 10 tokens, spend them, or they're gone. Now, here's the flip side. If you go to the store, this is why I'm saying it's not $20 per uniform, technically. You can spend anything you want on something. They're not saying you're spending $20 and you just get a uniform. You are, the very least, the smallest amount of money you can spend is $20. And that's why I'm saying, like, you know, a lot of people are calling them $20 uniforms. Uh, this Silox Cool Summer Chest. So it'll say $299, but there is a $999 version here. This gives you 10 tokens, which can go towards a uniform. So at the very minimum, if you spend 20 US dollars, because I'm in the US, you can get 20 tokens, you get your free 10, there's your 30 tokens. Now that might suck, depending on what region you're in, that might be a lot more money than it is for someone in the US and might be cheaper in some countries too. So this, this can have different impacts depending on where you are in the world. But you're, you're not just getting tokens. You're not just spending $10 on the 10 tokens. You, th this minimalistic thing here, you're getting 1,100 crystals, and you're getting these chests here, which give you one of these random items. Some of these are pretty good. I mean, you can get tier 4 mats in here. You can get 6-star cards, eh, uh, gold, eh. Some of the stuff is kind of eh, very eh. Like, obviously, we want the tier 3 or tier 4 mats, or even, you know, the tier 2 mega advancement ticket. But the chances of getting some of this stuff is very low. Most of the time, it's some of this crap at the top. So I understand. It's like, yeah, you're, you're, you're risking and you're gambling. In fact, I don't. I think I got one group of tier four mats and one group of tier three, and everything else was either gold or feathers. I think I got a hundred Yandu bios, like like stuff I just didn't need. So so spending that ten dollars, but again, eleven hundred crystals. So let's take this from a different perspective. Let's go to the uh, currency section over here, and let's go to. Um, yeah, it helps if I let it load until you know instead of click click click. So we go to the currency here and we get a crystals. Uh, 1,100 crystals, what does that cost if you just buy the 1,100 crystals straight up? So right here, 1,100 crystals, 989. So already, just buying the crystals and nothing else, right now, without a discount, because Black Friday they go down, the anniversary they go down, they have special deals where you can get more crystals for that. Even going, and if you bought the Franklin pack, or bought it with crystals or cash, you have the ability to store up crystals, and it's like two ninety nine. You get way more crystal per dollar than you do here. If you ever want to do the math, sometime take the price nine ninety nine and divide it by how many crystals. You can see how many per crystals, and it's it's not really that great to buy this pack by itself. In most cases, I would not recommend going here and spending nine ninety nine just for eleven hundred crystals. But I'm just doing the comparison right now because without a discount or a sale or anything else, you spend ten bucks, you get eleven hundred crystals. So during this special event. Now you get 10 chests that gives you a chance for tier four mats and you get 10 tokens. So even though you have to invest 20 bucks, it's not like you're just getting the uniform is my point. I just want to point that out. You're getting 2,200 crystals. You're getting 20 different chests and that's the bare minimum. Now, if you are a big spender, maybe you want to buy some of this other stuff like right here, tier four super upgrade. I know it's 50 US dollars. I'm not recommending that you get that. But you're getting 2,500 crystals, a second potential. You're getting all these books of Ashanti that you can select. And you're getting 50 of these tokens. So with this pack for 50 bucks and your 10 free tokens, you can now get two uniforms. If you don't have any of the uniforms, I already do. But you could get two uniforms and all this other stuff on top of it. And you just go through here. There's a couple other packs as well. This here, 30 bucks is going to give you one uniform and then you'll have the free 10. So there's other things to consider within here when you're thinking about getting one of these seasonal uniforms. So what they're doing is they're forcing you to buy something. Support the game in some way, shape, or form. We'll give you this uniform, which is extremely overpowered. And at this point, if you want to max out score, if you're in a competitive alliance, you probably are going to want that. So they're trying to tempt you with spend money support the game get something but then again locking content down behind if you don't spend and you're gonna have to wait all the way till next year this this is that whole eh. and there's so many other game modes and stuff too right it, not everything can be unlocked with crystals if you're going through and uh i think it's under missions over here so like the epic quest and stuff a lot of these are locked behind uh i think either crystals or I don't think any of these are money. I think they're locked behind crystals. So there's a lot of different places 
to get stuff and there's premium contact and premium quest things and then there's of course like i said that franklin thing which started out 40 dollars. now i spent it i wasn't happy about it but i almost feel like with the the new emblem collection stuff i wanted to get a head start on it i didn't think they were going to drop it to crystals i think crystals makes more sense i think they fixed that but something that a lot of the free-to-play players that are in my discord have brought up is they're seeing a trend that more and more paywall locked items not just uniforms but a lot of pay paywall locked content it, it just keeps increasing it just keeps becoming worse so so how do you balance that out uh, one of the things that one of my friends pointed out is in the team up collection these tokens here and this is one of my complaints more complaints right like i like the game i play the game i play the game regularly i spend money on the game obviously and i'm a star creator on top of it and i still spend money because it's hard to keep up with all this content to have all the characters and all the uniforms and all the game modes unlocked has cost a pretty penny what does this say right here 46 tokens for a 10 percent chance i have burnt I can't even like hundreds and hundreds of tokens for Midnight Suns and haven't gotten any progression. I'm actually pretty far, all things considered, because of the likelihood of success. They drop the chance down super low and the tokens are going up really high. They're making it very difficult to complete these collections. One of the ways that you get additional tokens, guess what? ABL. So if you can't max out their scores, you're going to struggle on trying to get these collections complete. And some of these are super high. Like this one right here, 65% chance with 28 tokens. That's not unreasonable. That's that that's really not that bad. But if you come all the way over here to Midnight Suns and, and even the Sinister Six, which I have at a really high level, 10% for 46 tokens is pretty ridiculous. Now, the, the spikes in power, and you can go through this to see what the spikes in power are, right? At the very beginning, you're only getting all attack. So you're going to get all attack until you get the next big block here, which is going to give you 1% extra pierce. Everyone should know by now, pierce is incredibly strong. So as you keep going through this, that pierce keeps climbing up higher and higher until you get up to your max level. And your max level at 18 gives you 10% additional pierce and 40%. And that's for all the characters in the collection. So it, this stuff is very, very tempting for individuals who spend in the game because you're getting so much out of it. But, but how are you going to get that? You know, are you going to spend your, your precious crystals, which I've done multiple times. I've stopped doing it because, again, I'm, I'm literally just burning at this point. But you can buy some of those tokens. It's like 75 crystals, and it gives you, like, I think, f like five tokens or something. I, I don't, I'm not going to dig through and find it again. But, yeah, there's a lot of things to think about, whether or not you want to spend in the game, whether or not you want to get rewards, how much grinding you want to do, and how fair is it, and how much do you need to keep the balance out. Yeah, VIP 13, just to let you know how much money I've thrown into this game. I'm a VIP 13. And honestly, a VIP 1 or even a, up to even a VIP 5, like anyone who's thrown any sort of money into this game should not necessarily be struggling to get grindable resources. If they're grindable, they should be grindable for everyone. So I think there needs to be some sort of a balance that needs to happen here. Um, so just to be clear, my personal stance, like I said, is I don't like seasonal uniforms being locked behind tokens. I think there's other ways that they should be obtainable. One of the things that I brought up in my Discord, now, they don't agree with me. One of the things that I had, so if for whatever reason, a uh, someone from NetMarvel that works on the dev team for Marvel Future Fight hears this video, <laughs> not likely, but if it was to happen, personally, I think that they should balance it out. So after the season's over, maybe throughout the rest of the year they're crystals but maybe they're a little bit higher 1750 is pretty high especially for a normal player i get that maybe they increase it to at least what they would have had monetarily out of the the, the uniform right because now you're not getting anything extra you're not spending cash maybe they make it worth 2200 crystals like you would spend 20 us dollars to buy two of those crystal packs maybe the uniforms are 2200 crystals throughout the year that's one option. I originally said maybe they double it, like, you know, 3,500 crystals. I'm like, that is a lot. Like, someone in Discord is like, no, no, that, that 3,500 is a lot for free to play. I was like, that's a good point, but at least 3,000 something. And then I'm like, well, they give you the free 10 tokens. 
So if you were to buy two, and I just thought of this now, I didn't mention this in my Discord, but I'm like, so maybe if you bought two of those crystal packs, that's the $20, so 2,200 crystals worth. That's not unreasonable in my opinion. Still high for the average player, but at least it's obtainable instead of permanently locking it until you spend cash on something during the seasonal time they're giving away or selling or whatever those uh, tokens for that seasonal pass. Uh, the other side of it I thought of, and they didn't like this either, is what if every year it goes down by 10 tokens until it's only 10 tokens? So the second year, a seasonal uniform that's one year old drops to 20 tokens. Now you only have to spend $10. And then the year after that, the third year is 10 tokens. The counter argument was uniforms go away. You know, they, they get replaced all the time. So why would you want a three-year-old uniform? Like, that's, that's valid. Okay, what if it drops to 10 tokens next year? So in one year's time, it can drop to 10 tokens. And then, at least then when you're getting your free 10 tokens, you can at least pick an old uniform if you wanted to. Luna Snow. Luna Snow is still super OP. It's an older uniform. It's a summer season uniform. Let people have a free Luna Snow this year. Those that didn't pick it up. I mean, you're giving them the free tokens. What if they gave out more than just 10 free tokens? What if there was an event? So they give you the, the login 10 tokens, and there's some sort of event to get another 10 tokens. You have 20. Now it's only $10 that you have to invest in the game, at least minimum, in order to get one of these paywall uniforms. It's still paywall, but it's not as much of a hit. I think there could be some way to balance that out, because with game modes, there it's grindable content that you can continue to grind. You can continue to get things out of them. Like when you get the Franklin pack, you know, I, I can go in here and I can grind for the Franklin pack stuff and I can do it every single day. So I can go over here and I can go and I can get this and I can regularly grind this material every single day regularly on both levels, you know, for the hidden boss. And then I can, like I said, save up for these crystals here. This is a great price, by the way. 600 crystals for 299 is an incredible price, but that's grindable. So I unlock that and I permanently can grind that, that you're, you're getting something out of it versus a uniform that's eventually going to get replaced and only be a uniform option down the road. Uh, that's my, again, that's my two cents. Anyway, if you found this interesting at all, whether you agree or disagree, feel free to jump into the comments, share your thoughts. Uh, if you are newer to Marvel Future Fight, the community on a whole is pretty good. I, I find the forums can tend to be toxic, but if you join a Discord or you get on uh, Twitch or even YouTube when a streamer streaming, a lot of the streamers out there are very helpful. They'll, they'll give you advice. They'll talk about stuff. Just make sure that you talk to multiple people, get different opinions, and try to ask the why. There, There is a logic to choices made in this game. Um, it's still fun. Like I said, a lot of us are still playing it. We want to see it succeed. So I thought this would be an interesting topic to bring up to discuss and, and hear feedback from people like you. So anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.